boys, girls, and pandas. Welcome back to another Learn Jungle with me. And today, I've got a banger for you, bro. I've got a banger for you, another banger. I'm just always coming with bangers. You guys are spoiled. Uh, today, we're looking at Elchuyo El 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 uh, on his lease in arguably uh, best jungle at UW. Oh my god, the Warwick level one invade. Kind of cringe when this happens. Uh, into Aesol top. Uh, UW challenger, by the way. <laughs> Picks up a cheeky kill. Um, interesting. Interesting play from Warwick. Team probably saying FF right now. So we have the blue buff taken down straight into Wolves. I've actually never seen this line. I haven't ever seen someone do blue buff straight into Wolves. Um, I'm wondering if he's full camping. So he's going to do Wolves, Raptors, then Red. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what I'll go on. Uh, kiting it to max. Again, guys, in your own games, remember the, to, to, the key to getting better at jungle is understanding how to camp, camp kite, ca kite camps as efficiently as possible. So if you see there, using getting, okay. Damn, wolves, then krugs. So it's an interesting line here. So he does red, no, blue into wolves and then krugs. Does he get level three from this? Damn, I didn't know this was even a line to get level 3. Interesting. It's actually really smart too because by doing this, uh, it's kind of uncounterable. They can't really counter, counter you because, I mean, they can take your Grump actually. I, I, guess, I guess the downside is your, your Grump is open for, for invade. Um, interesting. Uh, it looks like he was pathing bot um, in order to maybe get an, an, an Amumu Simira um gank off but they're pushed in so he's opted now to just continue pathing and farming um and clearing does mean he's on the bot side though um in a really nice position for scuttle crab okay probably looks to secure scuttle here a very very interesting line uh mid's kind of ungankable right now so is bot um interested to see if he recalls and does grump here or he does. Okay, so he recalls, resets here. Um, very, very interesting line. I've never seen that line before. So, hey, we're learning together, guys. That's a cheeky line you can use in your games. Um, and it doesn't look like it's either it's least in specific either. Um, if you're looking to gank bot or path bot and you need to get there fast, honestly, it makes sense because a lot of the lines, when you're going, when you're doing your blue into Gromp, Gromp kind of takes a while, right? And so you get level three off wolves, but by the time you're off wolves, you, um, you're kind of in the top side of the map. So when he procs level three, he's in the bot side. He can react really fast. Definitely actually have to use this in my games now. For, um, from now on, I, I definitely want to be using this games. It means you're, you're in a really nice position to get Scuttle too. Um, and now he's top when he needs to be really nice. Gets the thing. W is probably for shield. Oh, they put, they kill though. He definitely can't fight Warwick here. Warwick will kill. Does he want the fight? Damn, Leeson's damage is kind of stupid. Might slept this whole wave here. Oh my god! I wonder if he just takes everything or if he uh, is nice to Aesol here. Wow, what a king, man! Oh no, he takes the whole wave. Oh no, but he okay, nice. He leaves it pushing into um, Aesol and backs. Really nice. Okay. Interesting, guys. So we've got a banger here. Let me just increase the quality. Jesus Christ. Get that shit to 1080p, goddamn. Um, really, really interesting line so far. So, I mean, he's had impact. Warwick kind of inting. Um, but Talon is has got a kill. He's, he's, he's activated. Um, and, yeah, definitely looking to see how he carries this game from here. Okay, does have, um, I don't know what that thing is, whip or something, vine whip? I don't know what that item's called. Oh my god, okay, well, be right back, guys. Uh, clearly, I can't run this quality. Jesus Christ, my Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi's struggling, bro. Okay, um, looking to Pathbot here, definitely has set up. Mumu's quite low, so 
This is gonna have to be uh, played well by him. Okay, yeah, definitely, okay. They have vision. Doesn't look like he can do anything here. Wonder if he maybe looks to gank on, on a tower push or if he continues the path. We'll see. Looks like he continues the path. Doesn't think that bot's gankable here. Now, I think that's where I, 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 I something I struggle with personally when I'm, when I'm jungling in um, D3 slash D2 um, ELO is um, leaving my, my when, like bot is in a bad spot right now, right? But having the confidence to just leave them, you know, that's something I definitely struggle with. Ooh, really nice. Saves his Q, waits, oh, perfectly played by him. Waits out the Azir ult. Oh my god, bro. And now he can still path bot. He wants bot scuttle here. Has, he's able to get it. Oh, he's in a really nice spot to gank bot here too. They they, they have tribush watered, but not this. He's going to probably go in on Soraka here. No, on to Zeri. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I think Soraka was the better target there, no? Um... Isn't able to do anything, um, unfortunately. Zeri is kind of cringe with her mobility. Maybe he looks for a tower dive. Oh my god, okay. It, uh, they're not there for a tower dive and gets recall. Definitely should go subtle here. Yeah, he does go subtle. Okay, nice. Secures the scuttle. Um, maybe looks for something mid again? Probably not though, right? And covers the farm. Just again, something again to add into your games, guys. When your laner is not, um, not in lane and doesn't, like, can't catch a wave, you have to catch the wave. If you don't, you're wasting so many resources, man. Like, actually so many resources. You need to be getting those and catching those waves. <laughs> Okay, um, <clears throat> and Ops, instead of backing to continue pathing into his top side, so another thing guys, you never really want to be standing on too much gold at one time, something I did, my Twitch chat roast me for all the time, dude, I'm a 3k Andy, bro, I have 3k gold in my account, I'm running around with my pockets full, bro, never catch me broke, um, but it's actually bad, really bad habit, you really want to be making sure that you're um not walking around with loads of gold you want to you want to be on the map with as many of the resources actually as items as possible you know uh sure gets picked here don't know if he wants to fight this flashes over the wall gets baited yeah i don't know i don't know if i agree with that play there he has no because he had so much gold in his in his uh his his his, his pockets um I just don't think he has the damage to, to kill there. Bit of a misplay from him. Uh, and because of that, he now gives Dragon. Uh, potentially. Really nice run from there, bot though. Um, okay. But it's fine. He is recovering. Heading bot. Amumu Flash. Has R. Also Q. No way they're living there. Kind of unfortunate Amumu gets the kill there, but still good for the bot. Dragon doesn't seem to be taken by uh, Talon, okay. I guess they felt like they uh, didn't want to risk the 50-50 with the Lee respawn being so short. Continues to path um, bot here. Again, uh, he doesn't ha does have a lead, but this is not a one game at all in any sense. Um, Zeri... Soraka is a really, really, really scary late game um, threat. And although he has a Samira um, and a Mumu, which is kind of perfect with Samira, you really want an engager CC champion to really make her viable. Okay, Talon just straight up trades on the leader. Jesus. And gets poked by Baron Dragon. Probably gives here. Oh, huge solo kill from Jogath. Really important, actually. Okay. Um, 
but they trade back in bot lane. Probably goes for a rift here, no? Now it'll be interesting if uh, Talon reads the rift, skips back dragon and goes straight to match him on rift, or if the Warwick um, uh, comes and, and interrupts him, but he does have the A cell to support if that does happen. Uh, one thing you need to be careful for when you're starting rift is a lot of the time, if an enemy supports good, um, they should usually be tracking uh, when the enemy jungler has potential to rift and um, interfering. Luckily it's Soraka, um, so she can't really do much by herself, but if it's an Alistar or something like, dude, I mean, this dude, twice, oh my, oh, Cho had no R. Damn, he was really smart. He was even going to give Cho the, the stack, the free stack there. Um, but yeah, what's I saying? Dude, two, two times recently in my ranked games, I've had a LeBlanc come and uh, just stop me um, from doing Rift uh, because she's read the play. So something to think about in your games, really make sure you know where the enemy support is before you start a Rift. Um, because if they're on a back or if they're on a reset, a lot of the time they'll read the Rift play. Um, or if they catch you on vision or catch you heading towards that, um, they can interrupt you, and if you get interrupted on a rift, the amount of tempo you lose is insane. It's really, really worst case scenario, to be honest. Damn, he really can't help here, I think. If he goes, he dies, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he can't. Mm, maybe, actually, they're pretty low. Might be able to one-shot the Talon if Talon comes to thing. I wonder if he tries to, to get Talon here. Ooh, work backing. Nah, no, chooses not to, and instead just catches the wave here. Again, guys, you'll see every challenge of Audible Watch, they're always catching waves. It's something you need to get good at and get and build a habit for. Because if you're letting these waves crash in, as a team, you're losing so much EXP and gold. It's kind of crazy. Okay. So he's key, he's ahead of CS actually on, on the Talon. Does have Gore Drinker, does have Tabby's completed. Um, it's kind of, uh, he's activated, he's activated. Now, definitely interesting to see what he does from this position. Maybe it looks something mid here. Soraka does have vision. Wants to make a play anyway. Nearly 14 minutes. He does want to use Rift soon. I think he wants to use it in mid, it seems. Um, don't really know what his game plan is. Has a Mimi with him. 30 seconds to use Rift. He has to pick a place. He's a bit indecisive. Can't decide. Mid bot, mid bot, mid bot, mid bot, mid bot. Oh no. Terrible. This ain't looking too great, Chief. Oh no. Aesol does clean up, but Zeri's here. Has R. Can Samira do anything? They're pretty low. If Samira gets R, she can clean up here. Nearly has R. Get silenced. Picks. Oh, has R again? Oh my god. Tries to catch Soraka, he leaves it for her. What a king. Uh, and she cleans up. Actually, it doesn't end up being too bad. I think he still did misplay that. Misses out on, on the plates gold there because he hesitated. Um, defo, guys, I think one thing to look at, maybe one criticism is he definitely should have been a bit more, he should have picked somewhere and, and, and just gone for it. They were pinging for him to get the plates in bot, um, but he was a bit indecisive there. But it's fine. Samira does pick up the, the cleanup. So she's now, Samira's now active. Um, she defo has items now, which is good. Okay, looks to full clear top. Ooh, does blue. Waiting for his R. Thing with Warwick is his healing is just stupid. Look at that healing, man. What the f Fuck is this champion riot games? Um ooh, not a great fight. Honestly, pretty hard game. 
don't know how strong Lee Sin is this meta, but definitely he is quite limited um, so far this game. He has been quite limited, especially into the team comp. Talon's pretty good pick into Lee. Um, is able to stop a lot of what Lee wants to do and out harass him. Looks like they want to make a play in mid though. Gets the snare, gets the knockup, W's, Q's, pff, gone. Really nice play. I, I would never ever think to make that play. Huge. Now Talon's dead. Can get a counter jungle potentially. Ooh, I gets the pick on Azir too. Azir is definitely out of position here. Lands the Q. Gets shuffled. But that is fine. He is completely fine with that. Burns the Azir R and maybe looks to do Dragon here. I imagine. Boom. Slams the ground with his palm. Um, him and Cho can look to do drag here. I guess he's waiting. He was trying to wait on drag for uh, Cho R to come up. Uh, Cho should have R actually to take this. Yeah, nice. So get to stack for Cho here. Can smite early. Yeah, Cho gets the R. W's out. Q's. Goes back in. Hits the R. Collapses on Talon. <sighs> Hits the Q. Dude, I don't think he's missed a Q this game. I won't lie to you. This guy does not miss Qs. Cleans up. Huge. Well played. Really nice from, from Elioya here. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's rumors of him being... It's, I think it's probably split between um, him being the best jungler in the EU, him, Yankos. Um, maybe I'm out of... I'm a bit out of the loop. I haven't really been watching a lot of LEC. Um, but when I was last watching, he was rumored to be best jungler at UW. Um, definitely a few misplays, but I mean, probably tied. Probably been playing scrims all day today. Uh, and again, for, for, for players like him, uh, Solo Q isn't really his main focus. Um, definitely more of a, a, a uh, 5v5 scrim focus player. Um, not like those Koreans who like like Canyon, people like um, like Clid, who on top of scrimming, just also holding rank rank 12 rank 2 rank 3 places in solo queue absolute crazy 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 dedication to league of legends um something you just have to respect and honestly um i think el yoya is one of the ew streamers that does or players that that does spend more time in solo queue um uh, looking at his twitch there's quite a few vods available to watch so i imagine he does play it quite a lot um which you have to respect um, it's not it's really not easy um, especially when it's not required of you um, and when you're already you know you're already playing scrims you're already doing quite a lot of League of Legends you know like uh, a lot of players want to have their own lives too you know like especially when you have relationships girlfriends family um, when you're doing so many so many scrims um, and also playing solo queue as, as well it's it's a lot especially solo queue when when you can play high quality scrims um, with your team uh, and you're playing solo queue, which is just the opposite of high quality a lot of the time. Uh, you know, coin flippy teams, no real communication, um, uh, no proper team comps. It, it can be hard. It can be really hard. Um, you know, the toxicity. Um, so you've got you've to respect. You've got to respect the players that put in the effort and, and, and grind um, on top of, of, of their job of being a pro player. Uh, now, Baron is up. Interested to see what he does here. <laughs> um, pinging to start. Damn. Look, looking to start straight away. Oh my god. Okay, the confidence. Team pinging him off. But they managed to drag Warwick. Doesn't Q in because he knows Warwick is spamming Q on his keyboard. Gonna regen half his HP because Warwick is completely stupid as a champion. I hate that champion. As an Echo player, Warwick is cringe, okay? 
If you play Warwick, if you play Warwick, I don't like you. Okay. Clearing vision. Um, and again, just so optimal in terms of CS. Finds a Sreka, goes in, silences, ooh, W's out. The really nice thing about Lee is you can, you can, you can do those risky plays because you have so much mobility. Um, Lee, I think one of the best champions League's ever designed. Uh, I don't really enjoy playing Lee. Um, a bit too mechanically intense for me, uh, but he is someone I actually considered to pick up eventually in the future and get better at. Um, definitely requires a lot of grinding to be able to use his kit optimally though. Again, wants to threaten the Baron. Maybe they're doing this to, to draw them out, you know, force a fight. I imagine. I imagine he believes they're stronger. Definitely wants to turn here. Team do turn. Huge ult from a Mumu. It's a bit late to the fight. Mrs. Q. W's of the Wolves chase Talon. Gets the. Oh. Talon flashes away. Oh no, this has just turned terrible for his team there. He was quite late to the fight. Ooh. Somehow manages to kill Zeri there. Goes in again. W. Go drink up. He's crazy. He's crazy with Lee Sin. Huge. And again, this is why Lee is just good because... It's just so... Oh my god! Damn. I mean, again, he, he misplayed. Was late to the team fight, but doesn't matter. Is just able to mechanically be better than these other players and just outplay them. Manages to pick Talon, pick Azir, pick Zeri. Goes in on the Warwick once more. This guy wants all the hands. Black Air Force energy! Oh my god, bro. Um, does the dragon here. Okay. Interesting. Manages to secure dragon. Really huge. Now, game is completely in his favor now. He's going to back. He's 3k gold on his back. He's just going to be so strong for the next fight. Um, and again, that's kind of all because of the Baron. Uh, he kind of used the Baron there as a bait, started it, because he just has the ability, the, the tankiness, in order to do that. Um, wow, gets, gets, um, I don't even know what that, that, that thing's called, Chem, Chem Chainsword or something? Um, gets the anti, the Grievous Wounds for the Warwick, uh, and for the Zarian, for the Soraka. It's Q. Doesn't want to do it though, Zeri E is kind of stupid, honestly. Ooh, finds Warwick. He has anti heal He has anti heal now. Forces Soraka to Q. To flash, sorry. Hits. And that's game. That's game. They can Baron here. Oh, no, no, no. Aesol got soloed. This is really smart. They opt to push mid instead. Yeah, looks like they get two turrets here. And they force Talon to come from topside now to to react. Azir behind, has the turret behind them. Doesn't give a damn. Tanks it like an absolute... Honestly, Black Air Force energy, man. This guy's crazy. And he's just completely taken over the game. I don't even know how he did it. Made the macro mistakes, but it doesn't really matter. Like, he, he made a few misplays. It was looking really bad for his team. They got they got just destroyed. Out of nowhere, solos the Zeri. Solos the Azir. S kills the Talon. And they've just completely taken control of this game. Has R. Qs. Finishes.
They're just dead. It's game. Guys, if 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 this is if if there's there's never been a better advert for Lee Sin. I mean, what a great solo queue champion. It's just crazy. Oh my god. Completely carry this game there from mid game. Insane, bro. El Yoya is crazy, guys. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe. Support the ting. Um, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on TikTok. And thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Peace.